to behave like an animal. You don't even care if anyone else exists in this palace. By the way, who employed you? It's the princess. When? Not too long, Your Majesty. I see. Tell the princess I want to see her right away. Yes, Your Majesty. Sent yes, I did. This young man here said that you employed him. Yes, Your Majesty, I did. Without my consent? Actually, Your Majesty, it was necessary. The other guard had misbehaved. But at least you should have consulted me. Forgive my ignorance, Your Majesty. I beg to be forgiven. It's okay. Your Majesty, please, can he continue with his duties? I beg you. You can go on with your job. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. I beg you. It's Chike. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I may not. God damn it. Look, you should pay me off. The deal was that you pay me off. You go your own way, I go mine. Chike, my husband is not around. He traveled. I can't lay my hands on him. Now listen to me, Ekwi. It is either you get me the five million naira and I leave the country. I mean, I travel abroad or I'm coming back to that palace. And I believe you know what that means. Sorry, I'm just... Your Majesty wants to see you. Of course. I'll be there in a minute. Hello, Chiki. Please, I beg you. Don't do anything until you hear from me. You sent for me. I did, Ekwi. Please sit. <clears throat> Take a look at this painting. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes. Yes, Your Majesty. It's, it's beautiful. Guess who made it? <sighs> Your Majesty, you know I'm terrible at guessing. <laughs> the new guard you employed made it. I sent? Goodness. Oh, I always knew you had something going for him. This is, this is beautiful. Honestly, since that boy came into this palace, everything has changed. Everything is now in its proper place. God, I, I want to make him the head of the, of the guards. And I'm sure my son is going to like him when he comes. Oh, your Majesty. That is so kind of you. And a very good idea at that. I want you to communicate to him. I will, Your Majesty. I will. I beg to take my leave. Go ahead, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. Awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome.
Nkume, where are you coming from? I never thought I would see you again. You have come with your bad news. Hey, where are you going to? I came at the instance of Her Majesty. Uh, there's an urgent job she desires I do for her in the, in the palace. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You, you know your way in. Ah, who doesn't know uh, the old palace? Once you enter inside the house, uh, the, the second door by your left. <laughs> I mean, how can you be asking me? So? You, you can go. walking around as if he's the king himself. Stop him! Bring him here. Move. Who are you? Your Majesty. I am Omen Oko. Um, Who sent you? I'm actually, um, I came here at the instance of Her Majesty. Mm -hmm. uh, the Queen, uh, yes, I have a job for her this evening and uh, it will continue till tomorrow morning. In the palace? Yes, of course. <laughs> what kind yes. of job do you have uh, here uh, in the palace that is going to continue till tomorrow morning? Uh, and, and what's in that bag? Where are your tools? What's yeah, in the bag? Yeah, yeah, um, the, ba the, ba the bag. Okay, the bag. Hey! What's it? Oh, hey! 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 What is in this bag that made you run away? What's in the bag? Your Majesty, I'm... I'm not your Majesty! What's in the bag? Please, Who sent you? Your Majesty. Who sent you? She sent me. What? 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 <laughs> Actually, she gave me this phone to be communicating her. My lost phone. Uh, uh, and, the, and the shoes. My missing shoes. Uh, uh, shoes. Once His Majesty wears the shoe, he dies instantly. What is this man? Hey! What, mm, what? what? It's, it's what is right? this man talking about? Let him finish. <laughs> and, and the vegetable. If she cooks with this for His Majesty, he becomes her perpetual slave. I mean, the slave to the queen. So, this is what you were planning for me. Please, it's hunger, hunger that caused this. I will not do it again. Please, I beg you. Majesty, I have never seen this man in my whole life. I don't know what this man is talking about. Who are you? I thought it was very, very clear. Is that not the phone that you told me was, so, was stolen? Are those not my shoes? Your Majesty, I've never seen this man before. You, you know me. You know I couldn't have done all this. Arrest this one. Arrest him! Mm. Get him! Mm. He's hunger. Hunger. Mm -mm. You! Take her to her apartment. And let her remove every single thing that belongs to her. Out of the old and the new palace. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, no, please. Don't touch me. Your Majesty, you know I couldn't have... He came... You... You... You know... I... I've never seen this man. I don't know who he is. 
Your Majesty. Please. Um, instead of sending her out there, can we restrict her in the boys' quarters so that we can avoid scandal? So that it doesn't get out there. Stop that! Your Majesty, not going to do anything like that. Very well. Take this animal to the police station. Now move! Take him away! Hang on there! Move! 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 The Queen will never do a thing like this. She could never descend so low. Please, Your Majesty. Well, move out to the boys' quarters. Immediately. Move her! to see the queen crying. My God, I never thought in my entire life that she could be subdued. I told you, you never believed me. I'm sure from now onwards, you have no reason whatsoever to doubt your mother. Mom, I never doubted you. At that point, frustration had set in. My brain was no longer working. That was why. Um, but I, I have news for you. What, what is it? I'm pregnant. Eh? You're pregnant? Idi Hey! Chideke Kao! Chideke Mama! Eh? Idi Hime! So I'm going to become a grandmother. Madam Tinted! Hey! Adam Etikasi Obudo! It's not easy. My daughter, you have finally secured your place in that palace. There is no place that has been secured in the palace, mommy. Why are you talking like this? Pregnancy is not for the prince. Piko, let it just be between us. Let me tell you, it does not matter where the pregnancy is coming from. Pregnancy is pregnancy. Hey, now you have secured your place in that palace. No problem. Don't, just relax. Everything is going to be all right. Relax. Okay, where do we get the five million naira to give this boy as payoff? You know he's beginning to blackmail me. I never thought this boy would begin to behave like this. My daughter, don't worry. Don't worry. Look, let me tell you. Every house has its own problems. If I tell you what people do to secure their interests, you will not believe it. So don't worry, eh? that one is a small thing. How about uh, the other boy, Omenuko? What happened to him? The prince asked the police to release him. He said he didn't want any scandal. Good. Hey. Very good. My daughter, I'm so happy. Hey. Um, let me get you a glass of fresh milk. No, no, mommy. I, yeah. I really need to get back to the palace. Okay, okay. no problem. Hey, come on, just take it easy. It's okay. Does the prince know that you're pregnant? Mommy. <laughs> I'm going to room 108. Okay, 108. Sorry, what's your name? Amina. Okay. Yes, sir. A lady is here to see you. She says her name, her name is Amina. Okay. Um, first one by you. Right. I can't. 
can't believe this. What can't you believe? That lady is the princess of Ibala Kingdom. Serious? She says her name is Amina. I wonder what she's doing here. Serious? Serious? Of course. Maybe she has a business here. Maybe. Oh, my babe. Oh, sexy. You are so fantastic. I can't believe this is what I've been missing. The prince has been depriving me of all this. If you don't work, you know, why are you sounding as self? This is the first time, huh? Call me anytime, baby. I'm gonna give it to you real hard. I love that down. Just down below, I love that look. <laughs> oh, let me give you the money. Oh, <laughs> oh, mm, sexy baby, what's up? I think I forgot my checkbook. You forgot your check. You forgot your check. Don't give me that crap, baby. Oh, baby, I think it should be in my car. Yeah. Better. So that means when we get downstairs, you can always give it to oh, me. Oh, sex. Oh, baby. What? You know the reception is going to be jam-packed by now, and all eyes will be on me. Why don't we do it this way? You go to my car, open it, just check inside the pigeonhole, you'll see my checkbook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love this man. Uh, look at that ass. Now pop it, pop it, pop it. <laughs> This man. <laughs> oh, who's my okay? Um, whose name do I write on the check? My name, of course. So, do you have anybody's name you want to write? Of course not. <laughs> Are you okay? Is also suffering in vain. 
How do you expect me to believe that? My lost shoes, the lost telephone, and the little boy. You saw him with your own eyes, didn't you? Your Majesty, the gods are spirit. You don't have to be in the world of the judgment of the gods. Oh, I don't. It's just, it's very difficult to believe. Patience. Patience. The ancestors are becoming friendlier these days. The culprit will soon be brought to justice and put to shame. My love, I brought you in here because I want to have a little talk with you. I've noticed that your monthly expenses is quite high and it has become a little intolerable. Meaning? Meaning you need to cut down on your expenses. Cut down on my expenses? My goodness! Your Majesty, before you married me, you knew I loved designer things. I loved designer shoes, handbags, glasses, perfumes, clothing. What do you expect? I get married to you and my dress sense depreciates? Or your mother mentioned it and I just chose to ignore her. I hope you're not towing her line. My love, I'm not trying to upset you or anything. I'm just trying to make you understand that we have a child coming along and we need to plan for our future. So we can live a comfortable life, but nothing extravagant. I'm not extravagant. The fact that I spend a whole lot of money to look good, buy very expensive accessories just to look gorgeous does not make me extravagant. My goodness. As for the child, God will provide. Well, your majesty, there's nothing more for us to discuss. I beg to take my leave. I'm gonna pass through this year. That's why I'm waiting here. Ebere, you Bible. Hey, <laughs> Abigail, why are you talking like this? You know I go to church. Wonder shall never cease. Eh? You think you can deceive me the way you are deceiving others? You failed. Well, why I'm here is that I want to tell you to back off. You take your hands off, Chris. Or else I will skin you alive. Egypt. But Abigail, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're saying. I don't have anything with with Dr. Chris. You will soon know. Egypt. Why? I, 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 don't, I don't know what, why two men won't be enough for you. Eh? You think I'm afraid of your charm? I'm not. Eh? Eh, I'm not afraid of your charm because I've heard your story. I've heard I used to use charm to collect what belongs to your friends. Oh, Abigail, me, charm, me, mm. charm. Look at you, charm, charm, charm. And let me warn you. Take your hands off Chris. Chris is my man. I think I don't know that you went to the palace to sleep with the guard. If you try that mess with me, this your face, I will squeeze this out of your neck. Idiots. Well, I'll squeeze your face after the video. Sam. Yeah, the door is open. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. Please come, come, come. 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 Be seated. Oh. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. I'm happy you made our time to come and see me. So let me go straight to the point. You see, um, oh, sorry, what do I offer you? Oh my God, I'm becoming confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know. Let me, let me go straight to the point. 
You see, I, I asked you to come so that I will know your answer. You understand me? Just let me know what I'm doing. I... I'm sad. Sir, I... I want to take my time. Oh my God, you want to take your time? Why? Well, I, 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 I want to have an answer so that I will not rush things. You know, I like to take my time you know, when it comes to do, doing things like this. Oh, are you still waiting for the prince? No, far from that, sir. Sir, see, I've had a series of encounters with Abigail. Yes, and she claims that you're hers. The last thing I want to do, sir, is fight over a man with any woman. It's not in my dictionary. Besides, my paramount concern is my son. How he's going to be taken care of, how he'll be fed and all. I'm not thinking about any other thing now apart from that. My dear, let me, let me give you one assurance. I do not have anything to do with a big girl. Whatever she's saying, however she's saying it, I don't know. But she's a lady. Probably what she's telling you is what she's nursing in her mind. And she's not made it open to me about your son. Ebel, I love you. I love you so much. So, if I love you, anything that is coming from you, I should love too. So, I am prepared to take you and your son together, no problem. It doesn't matter. Both of us are going to live under the same roof. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sir, it might not matter now. But I'm sure in the near future it will. Oh my God, Ebele, 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 why are you talking like this, Ebele? Ebele, you, 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 you walked for a while here, and I believe that while you were walking here, I, I, I earned your trust. Talking of trust, sir, I do not trust anybody. For crying out loud, sir, I'm in this situation because of trust, my best friend. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot trust you. I cannot trust anybody. I will never trust anybody in my life because I, the pain I feel inside of me now is because of trust. I will. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wipe your tears. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. So you, you, you don't want to take anything? Mm -hmm. Let me call the nurse. No, thank you. No, sir. Thank you. I don't want anything. Ebele, did you tell her anything? Did you just kiss? A big girl, did you just kiss? There is something she told me, and I don't want to believe it's true. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. She's a colleague, and I want the relationship between you and her to be that of nurse, 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 and nothing more than that. Don't go gossiping with my name or whatever. Have I told you anything? Yes, I... I love you. Hey, you love me. I love hey, you. I know you my love heart. me. I know you love me. I know you do the. That's when you shut up, my friend. Are you crazy? You love me. <laughs> Have I ever told you I love you or something? <laughs> hey, hey, let me tell you something. That I am a doctor does not mean that I will be civil to this extent. I can be brutal if you try me. I love Ebele with all my heart. And if you come between Ebele and I, I could kill you. Please, please. Me. Look at you. Come on, go, my Don't try me. I love Don't you. Don't try me. Have that in, in your mind. Please, Look at you. I hey, love you. Get out of my I love you. I love you. I love you too. I love you, Chris. I love you, Chris! <laughs> but I saw somebody throwing you into the fire. Huh? The face was not clear to me. I 
I'm not certain if it's a she or a he. So Gome was right. I was living with my enemy, the devil. I... That means it is possible that Ebele did not do anything. Hi. Look at how I'm living like an outcast. My husband and my son believe I'm a murderer. God. God, please help me. Help me prove my innocence, Lord. Larry is becoming too difficult. I mean, he's just too demanding. I've already given him money, but he asked me to give him more money after I bought his brother a bus. So what is the idiot saying this time? He's saying his brother is sick. He needs money to deposit at the hospital, and he needs money to settle himself so he doesn't suffer the way Chike did. Can you imagine? I told him I don't have any money. But the problem is that I suspect he wants to do something evil. I suspect it so strongly. My daughter, delay is dangerous. Act now. There's no point delaying. Just do something now, fast. Mommy, you're right. I'm going to do to him what I did to Chike. Chike tried to be smart, and that's why he paid the supreme price. Larry won't be different. Don't worry. Immediately you drop the call. I'll send for him. I'll assist him to get to the land of the dead. Easily, very fast at that. Eh uh hey, -huh. get It's not that you're talking. Pick on one. Delay is dangerous. Please do not waste time. Just act fast. I'll call you back, mom. All right, mom. Bye. <laughs> Bye. What is the matter? What is the matter with you? Why do you look so morose? Are 
S speak. What, what, what is the matter? Talk to me. Your Majesty, I have a confession to make. Get, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. What, what, what confession? What, 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 what? Get up, get up, get up. Your Majesty, it's about the land. Your Majesty, it is about the judgment you delivered on a land person between honor and his own. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, what about the judgment? Your Majesty, Zuna is not the rightful owner of that land. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Zuna is, 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 is not the rightful owner. Mm. Give me a bribe, so I lied with the name of the gods. Your Majesty, that was why I, I went blind. I want you to forgive me, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. Oh, ye gods. So, you lied to me. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty, I'm sorry. You lied to me. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty, I'm sorry. We gave the land to the wrong person. How could you? How could you? Oh! Oh! Because of the wrong advice you gave me, I put the lives of poor Onowa. Oh, in total distress. And the poor woman was crying that day. And you was, and you saw her crying, and you still continued with this lie. No. Why do not for the memory of your father? How diligent, how trustworthy. I would have had your head chopped off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you better get back, get to Izuna immediately, and ask him to return the land to Onowa immediately. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, I have a confession to make. Another confession? Is this a day of confessions? So, what, 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 what is this confession? Your Majesty, I won't say anything until the process is here. What? Sit down, sit down. Dear confession. So, who are we waiting for? Uh -huh. Your Majesty. So you are here. So you are here. You stupid good for nothing imbecile. So you came here. Your Majesty. Can you imagine? This good for nothing tout, this riffraff, went to my room and stole 200,000 naira. And he also stole the jewels that the prince got from him when he was traveling. No, no, no. Also I, that's stole your Majesty is not that's true. Not, let's, let's hear you. Your Majesty, if she says he stole it, he stole it. Let him speak. Speak. Sit down. Your Majesty, I'm ashamed of myself. I know that no matter what I say, I must be killed because of what I've done in the palace. Your Majesty, 
the moment I learned that Ekwe was married to the Prince of Ibala Kingdom, I knew that the kingdom was heading for doom. Your Majesty. All the atrocities that have been going on in the palace, we are masterminded by Ekwe and her mother. Such blasphemy! No, will you shut up? Sit down. Your Majesty. The man you people call Chike is not Chike. His real name is Collins. We attended the same university. If we hired him to do dirty jobs in the palace. Your Majesty. That Chike is Equi's mother's boyfriend. Are you out of your mind? Now shut up, I said. Sit down. And I am one of Equi's boyfriends. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? Will you shut up? Sit down. Your Majesty, I know that nobody here knows that Equi is two months pregnant. That pregnancy belongs to me. DNA will prove me right or wrong, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Omen that came here claiming to be a native doctor is not a native doctor. We were schoolmates. His real name is Tupac. If you doubt me, Ask anybody that attended Osilibi University. Your Majesty. Please help me beg the Queen. It was Ekwe here who asked me to bring the King's shoe and the Queen's handset. Even the artwork that I brought to the palace, purporting to have been drawn by me, was not true, Your Majesty. If we give me money to buy it. I was really drawn. Would you shut up? Your Majesty. I know that I've committed a lot of atrocities. And death awaits me. But my heart is gladdened. Because I know that my confession will free the entire kingdom from bondage. <sighs> Call it. Your Majesty, about Collins, I don't know if Collins is still alive. Because of the kind of call I overheard Ekwe and her mother making. Your Majesty, the former Princess Ebere is innocent. She was framed up. No. Your Majesty, please find a place in your heart. Please, Your Majesty. Please, forgive me. Good day, Your Royal Highness. We are here for the Princess. In connection with the mother of one Mr. Collins, uh, Rema, in Metus Hotel. Such lies! Who sent you? Dad, arrest him! Arrest that man! Take her away. Oh, Your Majesty. And the boy, too. I am a princess. I'm royalty. Seize them. You're going. Dad, arrest them. I'm royalty. I said, take the boy too. Your Majesty, please. 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 Your Majesty. With all due respect, I suggest we leave the boy. May God's use him as a channel. Yes. Let's leave him. So be it. my house. Darkness and light do not have any relationship. So what are you doing in my compound? 
Grandma, please try and understand. Understand what? Eh? Leave my house now. Leave my house or I'll shout. I'll call the neighbors. Leave my house. A man poor queer. Let me tell you something. If you don't know the extent of your strength, that is the worst thing that could happen to you. Mama, I have come to realize my mistake. And I said I'm sorry. Please. Sorry about what? Sorry for what now? You don't want to leave up, yeah? Eh? You want me to go physical? You want me to, to, to go physical so that people will start saying that a commander like me pushed the prince? Or they raise her, her hand against the prince, okay? Who wants to leave my compound? I'm going to run there. This house is open. It's yours. Stay there. No, no. Let's settle this thing. Listen, let me tell you. It is only someone that is abnormal will discuss with the murderer. See, I'm not happy because this case is going before a judge that is lenient. I got six. Hmm? You took someone's life. Can you make one? Can you? No. Rubbish. Sasha was the one that made me. She's the one Rubbish. that caused me. Look at this girl. Take 
Father, I I am here to see Father Franklin because there's uh, some things I want to discuss with him. Oh, Father Franklin. He was transferred two weeks ago. For us. But this time around, I will say no. No! He received the kind of insult I received from this young man. Very big relation. Let me not talk the one he gave to me. Okay, Brother John. There's a portion in the Lord's Prayer that says, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I know you know that portion of the Bible. Yes, my yes. <laughs> yes, this young man has offended you, no doubt. He has offended all of you. But I want him to be forgiven. He should be forgiven because he asked for it. You need to see this young man when he narrated his ordeal. Do you know, Brother John, that this same man that has been causing all these problems from one place to the other is the same human being that framed the queen? Yes. Yes. Abele, you will have to stop crying. You remember what you told me sometime in the recent past? That you could smile when you were vindicated. Yes. Brother John, I want, to... I want you to put on the toga of forgiveness. I want you to give this young man a second chance and let God be the one to take control of the entire situation. It is well with you. It's well. It is well. Shall we just rise for a word of prayer? Come on. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, my brothers and sisters, well, there is no need of a flog in the issue here. I know that we are all Christians and uh, I believe that we all live by the tenets 
of the good book. And that good book preaches forgiveness. Forgiveness. Now, if we do not forgive each other, how do we expect God, the Almighty God, to forgive us? Well, I must confess that I'm delighted. I am very happy to be present here today. I am indeed very, very happy to be alive to witness this. I thank you all. I thank you also. Thank you, Reverend Father. My people, you know it is the tradition of our land that no king apologizes. But I am going to put that aside today because I have decided to apologize to my people because I have failed in my duty as a king. I know that innocent people have suffered a lot of pain. And I want, I want them all to please forgive me that it will never happen again. I will never give a judgment before I have thoroughly investigated. My wife, my dearest wife, I know I apologized to you behind closed doors. But I believe that the entire people of this kingdom should hear me say it to you. I want you to please forgive and forget. And I promise it will never happen again because I know, I know what pain and suffering you went through. Please forgive me. Igwe, I have forgiven you. I still maintain that I should take bulk of the blame because I was the one who brought in the ant infested firewood. In my quest for somebody who would fit into this kingdom, I, I totally forgot about the way and the will of God. And this almost cost me my marriage, my happiness and my entire world. Your Majesty, I thank you. Mother, thank you. I'm actually very happy that my father, the king, has openly apologize in front of everyone here. A very bold step and I'm delighted that my mother and father have ironed out everything and they are happy once again. Reverend Father, Thank you very much. My laws, thank you for your presence. Thank you.
Abby. I I want to openly apologize to you. Just like my father did. I want to let you know that I am truly sorry for the wrong things that I did to you. All the pains that I caused you. If I could go back into time, I I know I wouldn't have done those things. And I want to say sorry for not being there for our child. I really wish I was there all this time. I'm asking you to forgive me. And I want you to know that I'm bold. I am bold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. My laws. I'm sorry for the pains I caused you. Mama. Papa. I want to go back to my promise that I made earlier on. I'm always going to be by her side. No matter what. Father, our future queen, I'm looking for 
for a love that forever will be true I'm looking for a love every morning will be new I'm looking for someone to care Someone sincere I'm looking for love True love I'm looking for someone to have and to hold I'm looking for a love that will never grow cold I'm looking for someone to be Devoted just to me I'm looking for love True love I'm not looking for gold I'm not looking for silver I'm just looking for an ordinary girl Where can I find her? Love